What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new updated WWE action figure display. So in today's video, guys, I am going to be taking you through my three newly hung shelves in the WWE action figure room or the MDT room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, over here we got our Ziggler's, Takers, Jeff Hardy's, and AJ Styles. Over here, this has not been touched. You know, we got a ton of different superstars in chronological order. You know, Roman, Punk, Rock, Stone Cold, you name it. They're over here, and they're in timeline order. Seth, Triple H, Randy Orton, John Cena. We even got a couple John Cena's down here getting worked on at the moment. But uh, you guys know how we do over here in this section. And over here, this is where a lot of the figures that I moved over here were. However, I wanted to uh, put a lot of customs and a lot of rare figures up there. Obviously, those up there with Umaga and stuff, that's that's just left over right now. They're not rare or anything. There are some customs over here in the corner, though, that I'm getting started on to add to that shelf. But over here, I want to take you guys through the newly built shelves that we put behind the monitor right here, my gaming setup and stuff. So uh, what we're going to do is start with the bottom shelf. I'll go through that, and we'll work up to each shelf individually until we get all the way through. So starting out on the bottom shelf, guys, we do have the MDT Live roster shelf. So I wanted to have, you know, these shelves as close to the arena as possible because used to, I used to have the rosters up here and I would have to get in this chair, climb up there, get the superstar, go down there, film, a lot of BS. Nobody wants that. So you know what I'm saying? I built three more shelves right here to make it a lot more simple. So right down here, we got the MDT champion, John Cena. MDT United States Champion Shelton Benjamin, MDT Extreme Champion Bobby Lashley, MDT Tag Champions The Shield, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Will Seth Rollins defeat Dean Ambrose at Sold Out to retain that title? We'll have to see. Definitely go catch up on the pick fed if you haven't. We got Mr. Money in the Bank, Rob Van Dam, Dolph Ziggler, Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, CM Punk, Randy Orton, Edge, Neville, Christian, John Morrison, No Way Jose, The Usos, Rhino, Sandman, The New Day, Zack Ryder, MVP, The Dudley Boys, and Heath Slater. Of course, I believe this is everybody that has appeared on MDT Television for MDT Live. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty freaking sure. Down here we got some MDT Live microphones, so they're all stored away right there. And we'll work up to our next shelf. So starting out on the Vindication roster shelf, guys, we have Kenny Omega, the general manager, and leading elite champion right there. Just behind him we have the Iron Man champion, Drew McIntyre. We have the Revolutionary Champion, The Miz, the MDT Tag Champions Revival, Mr. Money in the Bank for Vindication, but it was not a contract. It was actually just a quarter million dollars. We got Adam Cole, we got Cody Rhodes, The Hurricane, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan. We got the Wyatt Colt back here in their sheet mask. I need to get some more sheet masks. But, um, yeah, so, you know, the whole family and the whole cult can get them together right there. I think that would look bad, eh? But I'm still working on that. So we got all the Wyatt cult together. We got Rusev, Samoa Joe, Baron Corbin, El Generico, Kevin Owens, American Alpha, Cesaro, Goldust, Braun Strowman, and Kane. And down here we do have the Vindication Money in the Bay briefcase. Who knows if we'll actually have a match. You know, Kenny Omega made the decision on MDT that he was not going to have an actual contract so he could, you know, keep his championship safe. So that briefcase was never, you know, actually won or defended, but we'll have to see in the future. Also, we got some updated tag titles coming soon to the PickFed as well as some microphones. And if we go to the top shelf, guys, we do finally, we finally added our Finn Balor shelf. Thank God, Finn Balor slash Prince Devitt. So I think it's pretty cool. You know, you have the Mattel poster right here, and on the side you have Finn Balor. So what a better way to start the Finn Balor shelf than with the uh, Mattel poster right there with Finn Balor. We got some headdresses and the Universal Championship as well as an arm there. We got the mutant Finn Balor figure. Just above that, we do have the Finn Balor on the wall right there. So I just think that adds to the Finn Balor shelf as well. So we got the SummerSlam Elite. Elite Finn Balor, Elite 46, we got my Custom Fantasy Batman Finn Balor, Custom Grinch Fantasy Finn Balor, we have one of my uh, Fantasy Demons like Lime Green and Black Attire Demon, 
We have the Joker Prince Devitt, the Anti-Venom Prince Devitt, the Carnage, I think it's Wrestle Kingdom 9. Prince Devitt, it may be Wrestle Kingdom 8, I can't remember. We have NXT TakeOver Dallas. NXT TakeOver The End, where he fought the first ever NXT Steel Cage match with Samoa Joe. We got just the regular, the only non-painted Finn Balor that I have. Cannot wait till that Top Lines Finn Balor comes out, because as soon as it does, guys, I'm going to load up like 30 of them and just do all sorts of different custom-painted Finn Balor. So it's going to be really awesome. You know, the blue, the green, the red, all the different attires. We have the Entrance Greats Finn Balor, another NXT TakeOver Network Spotlight. A Venom Prince Devitt, Punisher Prince Devitt, Spawn Prince Devitt, Freddy Krueger Prince Devitt, my custom fantasy It, my custom White Phantom fantasy Finn Balor, my custom Terminator fantasy Finn Balor, and then we have the Elite 41 and the Elite 59. So that is pretty much it for all three newly hung shelf guys. Please let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite shelf is. Do you like the new setup? Do you like the new shelves behind the monitor right here close to the arena? Which section is your favorite? The newly hung ones? The Jeff Hardy, AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, Undertaker shelves? Going around, do you like this main section where we have all of the different figures, you know, John Cena, Orton, and etc.? Or do you like the custom slash rare figures that's not even full yet shelves? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. That pretty much does it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I did want to update you guys on what the room is looking like. Give you a full little 360 glance right here. We go around the whole room, you know what I'm saying? So, uh... That pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. We are working hard on Vindication Episode 9 coming very soon. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. MDT Live is always better than Vindication.